Yo, what's good with y'all? On today's video, I got another quick video for y'all. I'm going to tell you guys how, or show you guys, I should say, how to check if a player is friends with another player, right? And stuff. Uh, you guys have only seen me use this method one time before, and it was when I was showing you guys how to make. When well, actually, you, see, you guys have seen. Actually, no, yeah, you guys have only seen me use this one time, and it was when I made the previous video on how to make a follow friend system, which is like puts up a GUI and it shows just like a list of all your friends that are online and in a, and in a server and then it gives you the option to join and stuff right so yeah and stuff but this is me actually explaining it and stuff so yeah let's get straight into it it's pretty simple we can insert a script into server script service and call this check friend script check friend script right and it is uh to check for players of to check if player is friends with another player it's a built-in function of the player so what we're gonna use a, a when a player joins function, right? So we're gonna say game that players that player added colon connect function in parentheses. We're gonna put plr, which is short for player, or I should say stands for player. Then press enter. And then we're gonna do plr. That we're gonna do is friends with, and then here you need to use the player's user ID because keep in mind it's beyond efficient. Like it doesn't even matter what you're doing if you're messing with if you're doing if you're messing with data stores or like an admin list it doesn't matter anything literally I, I recommend using a player's user id with my data stores i use user ids not roblox names because people can change their names people can change their names any like any day and so, so people could lose their data and stuff if your data store uh, relies on that but you can't change roblox id and stuff like it's permanent on the account you can't change that so yeah so hence why you usually will see user id instead of a player's username but yeah so we 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 would need to get a user ID. I'm gonna go to my friends list and just get a random person and stuff, right? Get a random person and stuff, right? Insert their ID here, right? And we're gonna we're gonna make this an if statement. So if player is friends with so and so, then this will happen. Print player mm, players are friends. They are friends. I guess we'll say right. So if I click play. It's gonna say it's gonna print it because I am friends with this person and stuff, right? They are friends, right? Now, if I take off a four or whatever, take off anything, it's a random player that I obviously don't have added. Shouldn't at least I should say, right? That's why nothing happens. That's pretty much how you check to see if a player is friends with another player. It's that simple. Um, yeah. Now, uh, I'll show you guys a quick thing. Say if you're joining the Okay, say if like you're wanting to see if like a player joining the game is friends and you wanted to alert the other players or inform them, I should say, the other players of the server if they're friends with that player that they joined, even though I wouldn't really see a point in that because in the Roblox chat, there's already a built in way where like it already says like your friend has joined the server. But if that was the case, you guys could simply just get all of the players, you guys could get all of the Children by doing a 4IV in pairs loop, and you can do game, dot players, get children, do if V is this one, this one not auto like, is friends with, then you do player dot user ID, then uh, I don't know, V dot, there obviously is no GUI, I'm using, using this as an example, uh, friend GUI dot enable equals true, right? That's how you pretty much, that's kind of how you would do it, just to show you guys an example, but yeah. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Links to join my Roblox group in Discord can be found in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys and appreciate y'all for watching.